Hi, I'm Anat from Priority Software. Today, I'd like to show you Priority's new Automations Hub and present how to automate repetitive tasks. I'll begin with a few words about what repetitive tasks are and how we can benefit from automating them. After that, I'll show you how to create and use two types of automations, local and cross-form. Priority provides many tools to help you streamline your daily workflow based on RPA functionality, including tools that shorten and automate routine and repetitive processes. You can find them in our new Automations Hub, which you can access from every form. The Automations Hub includes rule-based and data-based automations, and a new macro-based automation, which is our focus today. Some of you probably use macros frequently. This automation is a powerful tool that Priority provides as part of the base package. For those of you who are not familiar with it, let me tell you how you can benefit from using it. Oftentimes, during our day-to-day -day work, we perform the same tasks again and again. These tasks require us to manually run the same sequence of actions, such as deleting a bunch of records, marking a few lines, or entering the same data over and over. These kinds of tasks shouldn't take us much time or effort. They can be completely automated and triggered with just a click of a button. To set up these kinds of tasks, you only need to record them once in order to show the system the steps you want it to take automatically. This may sound familiar to you, and I'm happy to add that the new macro-based automation, as part of the 22.0 version, is a cross-form automation. That means you can set up a task that includes a full business process involving several different forms. Now, let's create an automated task. I'll start with an example using a sales order. Jenna's Vegan Hub ordered a few items for me. Unfortunately, I have to postpone the delivery date. So I need to change the due date for the order items. I changed the due date for the first item manually. And now, for the next item, I can copy the date from the field above using the right click or the F10 key. But this order has 44 lines, and I want to change the due date in all the lines in one go. This is where an automated task does the trick. I can set up a macro that copies the content of a field from the one above it, and if I set it to repeat, it will run on all the lines one by one. Let's start by recording a macro. I enter the Automations Hub from the upper level form, select Macro and Record Macro. I'll name my task, copy from above. I can also set up a shortcut key. Now, every time I press Alt in 2, the task will begin. And let's set it to repeat. Now, let's click on Start Recording. From this point on, the system is recording my actions. I know that because the red icon on the bottom right side of the screen is active. Here I am in the due date field. I copy the date from the field above, go down to the next line, and stop the recording by clicking the blue stop button. Let me recap what I just did. I recorded a task which performs two actions, copying data from the field above and going down a line and I define this sequence of actions to repeat itself over and over. Now, let's run my automation. I return to the Automations Hub, Macro, select the one I just created, and here it goes. The due date is updated automatically in all of the order items. This automation runs as many times as defined by the recursive macro system constant. If that number is higher than the number of lines, I just delete the last line. This automated task can help in other processes as well. For instance, I have a few shipping documents in drafts, and I need to change the document status to final. I'll start by manually changing the status of the first document, and then let the system follow my lead. The statuses are updated automatically in all of the documents in my list. This automation saves time and prevents possible typos. You can record automations for other frequent tasks to streamline your daily workflow, like deleting several records or updating data in a bunch of fields. 
So far, I've shown you how to use an automated task in the context of one form. Now, I'd like to show you how to set up a cross-form task to automate a full business process. For example, I have several sales orders to be shipped tomorrow. I want to open shipping documents for all of these sales orders automatically. Um, in the first sales order field, I enter the Automations Hub, Macro, and Record Macro. I'll name it Open Shipments, set it to Repeat, and start recording. The recording icon is active, so I know that the system is studying my actions. Let's go. I copy the order number and open the Customer Shipments form. I paste the order number to the Sales Order field, change the shipping code to express and change the status of the document to ready. Now I go down one line, back to the sales order form and here also go down one line. And that's it. Stop recording. I'd like to run the automation I just created for you to see it in action. The system automatically opens shipping documents and updates the fields for me. Let me review what I just did. I had a list of sales orders for which I prepared shipping documents and updated the shipping method and status. Instead of manually working on each sales order, opening a shipping document, updating the relevant fields, and repeating that again and again for each sales order, the system automatically does all of those actions for me with just one click. This is a powerful tool Priority provides to automate your routine tasks, thereby streamlining and shortening your business processes, freeing up your time so you can focus on other challenging tasks. Priority continues to create more and more innovative and useful solutions. Goodbye for now. Until next time.